The basic demands we've already mentioned define the most important requirements of the UMTS standard. For the air interface, two things are particularly important. Firstly, the transmission frequencies must be allocated and the transmission method needs to be specified. The new network should be based on existing networks as far as possible and have unlimited access to them. The system interfaces for data transmission to the GSM networks and their GPRS enhancements, which will soon be introduced, are to be defined accordingly. Thus, the UMTS system consists of two main components, an independent subnetwork for radio coverage and the core network, which provides routing and switching. Now, let's take a look at the basic UMTS structure. 